everybody, this is Kathy McNeil, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the pieces I recorded for you today. In this mini concert, I'm going to play two pieces on our very lovely harpsichord in the sanctuary, and then one piece on the organ. So the pieces on <clears throat> the harpsichord will be, uh, the first one will be Bach's two-part invention number one in C major, and the second is his prelude number one in C major from the well-tempered clavier. And you might also recognize that one as being the accompaniment for an Ave Maria that was added by Charles Guno a number of years later. And we frequently hear that sung at Christmas time or if you um, attend or play at a Roman Catholic church as I did for 10 years with the Benedictine monks. I played it very frequently um, uh, uh, with a soloist at weddings and funerals that were held in the Abbey Church. Um, a student of mine, Molly McConnell, has been working on that prelude number one, and she played it quite beautifully for me two weeks ago during our FaceTime lesson. So I'm looking forward to having her try it on harpsichord when the sanctuary and the church building are open again for public use. For my piece on the organ, I'll play Prelude, Fugue, and Chaconne by Dietrich Buxtehude. The prelude is really kind of a free form, begins kind of big in the pedal, da 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 dum, bum, 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 you know, goes all over the place. And then the fugue comes in like this. And then keeps doing that same uh, little uh, motive in all of the voice parts, including the pedal. And then at the end, uh, the chaconne. A chaconne is a repeated pattern in a bass line. Um, let me see, let me do it with my left hand here, but it starts, it's in the pedal. Oh my goodness, let me try that again. Wait a minute, let me flip to it. and there are different things that happen over the top of it. Um, so I'm sorry, it just feels different playing it in the pedal and on a piano in the left hand. So I got a little temporarily confused there. So I hope you enjoy all of this and I'll see you next week as well. Bye-bye.